Yeah, welcome to the new Bolan. You're cooking with me today. Bo's uh, indisposed. Today we're going to do some really simple fish cakes. So top man plan, cup, which is just really easy. We just need some freshwater fish, some jungle curry paste, and we're going to make up a really nice, simple snack. So we have the minced freshwater fish. So we'll put that in. This one you have to get your hands dirty. There's no other way around it. We're going to add our curry paste. It needs to be spicy. So probably about a very heap tablespoon of curry paste. Start mixing it together. Check the colour first. You want that nice vibrant red colour. Season it with a small amount of palm sugar. It shouldn't be sweet, but it should have a nice rounded off flavour. So just a teaspoon and a bit of palm sugar. Then you're going to add some fish sauce. The fish sauce will depend on how much shrimp paste that's in your jungle curry paste. So good idea to taste it before you add the fish sauce. Taste the jungle curry paste that is. Okay, and then we're going to add our wing beans. So we're just going to finely slice these. So a good fish cake should have quite a bit of uh, herbs and vegetables in it. So about three wing beans in total. Okay, before we add the wing beans though, I'm just going to slap it a little bit to work the proteins. So just take the fish up and then throw it back into the bowl. You're just going to force the proteins together which will give you a nice bouncy, spongy fish cake. So the more you work it, the harder you work it, the better off the fish cake will be and the better the texture will be when you eat right into it. Okay, then we'll add our wing beans, some fresh chai, which is the wild ginger, a generous amount of the shredded lime leaf and try to make sure you sprinkle it around so you don't just get a knot of it in your mouth when you do it. Okay, and then we'll add one egg. The egg's just going to bind it and add to that texture as well. So mix it up. Don't want to slap it too much now that the egg's in there and that the vegetable's in there, otherwise the vegetables will bruise. But you just need to make sure that it's all bound together. So just get it in your hand, pat it down, and then just pop it in the oil. Be careful not to put your fingers in. You can make them balls, you can make them logs, it's whatever shape you like, just rustic like that's fine as well. Once they're in there, you can actually flip them over a little bit so that they cook evenly. So each fish cake, depending on the size, will take roughly two to three minutes. Okay, so you can see they're nice, nicely coloured now. Uh, I believe them to be cooked in the middle, they're sort of spongy, spring, they spring back to the touch. So take them out, drain them onto absorbent paper, and then just serve them with some cucumber, but I think that's a really simple, easy and tasty snack, so enjoy it.